So in 1994, judging by the popularity of the first film, Disney decided to make The Return of Jafar, which is a direct sequel to the first Aladdin movie. And it was actually the first ever direct-to-video Disney sequel. And the movie really sucked. I just did not get anything out of this film, and it definitely doesn't come anywhere close to the magic of the first film. The Return of Jafar is a cheap, mediocre, and forgettable movie that just feels like an episode of a TV show, which is actually kind of true. Since the Aladdin TV show from the 90s aired a little bit after this film was released. I didn't watch the show yet, but this film seems like it's supposed to be the pilot to it, and to get more people invested. So this film just comes off like nobody really cared about it. Let's get started with the story and plot first, which isn't good. So at the beginning of the film, Iago gets out of the genie lamp and he decides to leave Jafar in the lamp since Jafar was being mean to him or something. He goes into Agrabah and saves Aladdin from some thieves who are trying to kill him. Aladdin takes Iago to the palace and at first everyone was really mad but then they come to respect Iago after Aladdin defends him. Meanwhile, the leader of the thieves who attacked Aladdin earlier, Abbas Maul, summons Jafar and agrees to work with him to kill Aladdin, but he doesn't free him yet. Jafar confronts Iago and makes him lead Aladdin into a trap where Aladdin is framed for the so-called murder of the Sultan who was captured by Jafar. Well, like, everyone else was also captured by Jafar. But doesn't really matter because like 30 seconds later, Iago comes and saves everyone and the genie saves Aladdin before he is executed. Abbas Maul is about to free Jafar out of the lamp when Aladdin comes to stop him. Iago does his heroic moment by knocking the lamp down into the lava, and everyone makes it out safely, Jafar is defeated, and that's it. Yeah, this movie is only about an hour long, and the plot is pretty thin and unengaging. I mean, the pacing just stalls to a halt after Aladdin captures Iago. Also, there's this like plot line where Jasmine gets mad at Aladdin for keeping that secret about Iago from her, even though it wasn't a big deal. But again, it doesn't matter because like five minutes later, Iago talks to Jasmine and Jasmine starts to like sing a song and she and Aladdin are back together. So that whole thing was just filler. So the plot is pretty lame, but at least the characters are good, right? So the genie is back in this movie, but he just doesn't have the same spark or charisma, mainly because Robin Williams wasn't there to reprise his role, and we lost some of that magic. I guess some of his sequences are still kind of fun, but he just doesn't feel the same. He also feels kind of sidelined and not important to the story. Aladdin and Jasmine also just don't have the same chemistry. Again, Jasmine getting mad at Aladdin was really dumb and honestly, apart from that, Jasmine doesn't do anything in the story. Aladdin isn't as interesting or charming as a character in this movie. He just seems kind of boring. The magic carpet and Abu are just there. Jafar doesn't feel as menacing in this movie as in the first one. He doesn't really show up until more than halfway through the movie and things just don't feel in danger or suspenseful. Also, the rules about how genies work was really unclear in this movie. They decide to make the comic relief henchman bird from the first movie to have the main character arc and focus in this movie, which is just so odd and out of place. Like, don't get me wrong, I had fun with him in the first movie, but I just didn't think he was all that funny in this movie, and I thought his character arc was lame and bland. He was sometimes really annoying, and I could picture a better movie if they focused way more on Jafar, or even created a new villain. I mean, I liked Abyss Maul, he was kind of funny, but the rest of the characters just weren't the same. But at least the songs are good, they're, they're, they're really not. This movie relies on bringing back original music and themes from the first movie, and those parts are basically the best music in the movie. I kinda like Jafar's little villain song, but other than that, the rest of the songs are pretty forgettable. The Iago song at the beginning of the movie wasn't that good. The song when the genie comes back has some fun visual moments, but the melody was extremely forgettable. And again, the song that Jasmine sings was really lame. It's really disappointing since the original Aladdin had so much iconic and memorable songs, some of Disney's best. 
but no, this movie doesn't have good music, and the good music are just copied from the first movie. And the animation is also pretty bland and disappointing. This looks like the cheap animation from the Aladdin TV show, and it feels so lifeless when compared to the original Aladdin. And like, yeah, I can't get too mad since this was the first direct-to-video Disney sequel, and I don't expect this animation to be as great as the first Aladdin, but could Disney at least try a little harder? The Return of Jafar is a lame, lifeless, and cheap sequel to one of the best Disney films of all time. The plot is pretty thin, and the story isn't paced very well. The characters aren't as charming or likable in the first movie, and I still don't get why they give the main focus of the story to Iago. I didn't remember laughing at any of the jokes in this movie, the songs are forgettable, there's like one good song and the other decent music were just copied from the original music. The animation was cheap and I just don't think anyone working on this film cared about it. It's kinda disappointing. This was the first Disney direct to video sequel and I cannot say that I liked it. It's at least better than The Hunchback of Notre Dame 2 but I'm giving The Return of Jafar a 3 out of 10.